All right, what's going on everybody? Today, we're gonna to show you a video of putting in some Pro Armor four point harnesses on my new 2018 Polaris Razor XP1000. All right, we got Zeke here, our head mechanic. He's gonna do all the cool stuff. So let's get into it. We'll start with easy stuff and take the seats out. Those just pop right out. Not much to it. A little wet. So what's the first thing we gotta do? Take everything for it. He's a funny guy. See there, raking some hay, clearing out the field so we can build our razor track back. Thank you. That little bolt spline in there, so you can't turn it from this end. You've got to get to it from the back side. mile an hour speed limiter without a seat belt on because when you put harnesses in you lose that plug and it just plugs in right down in here and we'll zip tie that guy just to the rest of the wire and to keep it from flopping around and getting crazy and that's all there is to that y'all know what you're doing no not even a little say hey to the camera if you want hi Whoops, I cut your fuel line. <laughs> hey. All right, All right. So we got chain in the box, air tools, wire stuff. stuff. We're cutting chain to mount the, the inside of the lap belts. They, uh, We'll show them the razor in a minute, but they sell some overpriced brackets because the factory brackets facing this way. You need your harness to mount this way, so this secures that without spending forty dollars. This is Zeke saving me money. This I can't take is. credit for this. I found it on Razor Forum, but it was a pretty cool idea. So here we go. And there we go. If you follow me out here. Make your way through the shop. Admire the Burger King sign. House rules. <laughs> All right, what we got going on now? All right. See, these brackets are facing this way, and you need the lap belt to be this way, and the tab is going to be straight on it. And so, you can buy some brackets that are just a little piece of flat bar that's twisted and they won't weigh too much money for it. You can just bolt this here and then bolt your harness there and that makes everything happy and great. Five bucks worth of change, cheaper than forty dollars worth of little brackets. Pretty much common sense. There you go. All 
Alright, so Zeke's got the our chain mounts in here. Let's see, you got one passenger side, driver's side. Down. It's not going to fit. We'll have to give these a good tightening. What you need is a 10, grade 8, inch and, really need inch and a quarter bolts, but Track Supply didn't have those. So we have inch and a half bolts, 24 washers, 10 nuts, and 10 lock washers. It's your shopping list. What's torque spec on that? Don't determine spec. Good and tight. Good and tight. Good and tight. One Zeke foot pound. One Zeke foot pound. And there's that. So now we're ready for some harnesses. Here's Casey, the man behind the camera. I'm the ugly guy behind the camera. We're going to have the unveiling of the Pro Armor four point harnesses. Shipping in some awesome boxes. Find these at an eBay near you. You even get the awesome sticker so that you can pretend to be sponsored like I'm going to. Just kidding. Don't sue me, Pro Armor. There we go. The deal when I bought this razor was uh, that my wife got to pick out the color scheme and she said she wanted harnesses that match, so we have red harnesses. And I aggravated him the whole time and told him they wouldn't match. But I think they match. I almost bought hot pink ones just to mess with it. So yeah. It'll look right nice. Oh, you even get a spiffy little light with these. I forgot to show you. So that when you're upside in a ditch at night, you can cut your little light on. And at least people will be able to find you. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Pro Armor. Safety second. Alright. So get the oh, man, that's the one for the passenger side. No, just kidding, it don't matter. <laughs> oh, he's got jokes, people. He's finally livening up a little bit. All right. So go to the washer. I'm sure somebody on the internet somewhere is going to have something to say about this chain deal. About I, I don't know, just somebody somewhere is going to find some reason to piss them off. About it. I would dare say that the uh, webbing on the harnesses is going to be the failure point long before that piece of chain. Goes. What do you have to say to the people that do disagree with our engineering? See that hill over there in the far distance? They can go piss off over yonder somewhere. If that's not good enough, they can go to the next one. If you need directions for that hill, leave us a comment. I had to borrow the cameraman for a minute to get that boat tied. It was a, a job. But... A little bit bigger. We just wanted to make sure you know, we got that straight in the chain so that our bumping and riding that we didn't twist anything up and kept it smooth and pretty. All right, these tabs on the factory harness bar, you're going to want to put two washers behind this to space the belt off enough so that you'll be able to adjust it once it's on here. If not, you'll have to take everything loose to adjust it. And that's no fun. Extra work's never fun. Washer, bolt, washer, harness tab, two washers, one more washer. Let's do there, washer on the back, 
So we'll wash Throw her down. Wash her in the bed. Cuss, find it, pick it back up, and put that on. Boom. And see the two These washer. actually require uh, two Zeke pounds of torque. Now you got room to. You just bolt those flush. You won't be able to move that strap to adjust it and get your shoulder pads where you want them. It's basically the same deal, except it just bolts to this tab right here where the factory seatbelt retractor bolted. And repeat the same back here and then repeat from the other side. So without boring everybody to death, we're just going to cut the camera off right here. Tune back in when we got them in. boot that the factory seat belt receiver I guess you call it goes through and we're going to cut it and modify it so that the harnesses will fit through it so probably just kind of not cut myself with the treasure blade Cut the top off something like that, and then cut a pretty good slice all the way down the middle. This way, you're not left with just a gaping hole in your console. I mean, it doesn't look great, and I think somebody probably sells some boots that fit these better, but that's better than having that big hole where the just that's in the console. I mean, it's not the best, it's just something you never really see, so just keeps all that. Keeps a bunch of crap from being able to get down underneath yeah. the console. So there's that. to get the shoulder strap where you want it and this little the sternum strap it shows in the instructions but you want it I think four inches below your neck somewhere ish here so it don't choke you but you just I mean it's kind of self-explanatory but 
We're going to do a proper how-to video. We're going to show. Just pull some slack to you, and then once you get it where you want it, like that, you got to run this little tag right through here. Once again, it also shows this in the instructions, but you run it back through one last time and pull it to the back, just like that, and it's locked in. Locked in. All right, so we're going to um, go away for a minute. I'm going to hop in the razor, and we're going to get these adjusted, and uh, we'll come back to you and show you how everything's ride. supposed to look, and then we might even get to show y'all a lap around the, the home trails. Hopefully before this rain comes in, because it's getting dark and windy. So, stay tuned. All right, here we are. All snugged up and adjusted the sternum straps along about. Got about, about mid-boob. About man-boob level. About man-boob. Got the everything cinched in, good and tight. Make sure you set your lap belt first before you adjust everything off, otherwise it'll get all cattywampus on you. Man, these are, they feel good. You know, Pro Armor makes a really good a really good harness. These are the um, these are the two inch. Uh, you can get them in a three inch option, but uh, we decided for the kind of riding that we do that we just the three inch was good or the two inch was good. But uh, you got your I guess if you want to put your cell phone or something or whatever in here and place for your little light over here. But man, it's awesome. It's definitely a what I would call a necessary modification that you should make right from the factory over that little rinky dink seat belt. But it's time to hit the woods with it. Let's go take a ride. All right, I'm gonna test these harnesses out. Funny how much better that is. 